Welcome back. This is another Titan video, and today we're going to be changing out the headlights. I've got the spec detuning with the uh, DRL, and uh, I've also got LED bulbs installed in here. I've got the Marumoto two stroke 3.0 and uh, GTR CSP mini bulbs in here. I've got a separate video on how to install those bulbs in this housing. And uh, we'll get these changed out and show you how to do that. One of the first things you can do is rotate your wheel all the way in so you can access a Phillips screw in the inner fender liner right about there. And that will allow you access into the headlamp bolts. And if you have the stock grill, you're going to want to remove the whole grill. And you can check out the video above on how to do that. Next, you can undo your wiring harness clip, and under that is a 10 millimeter bolt. And with this grill, you can get in there, stock grill, you won't be able to. Okay, two more bolts. It's hard to get you in here. The one here, it's on the opposite side. This is the other end, the head is on opposite my finger, and we've got one on the side. little bit right about there. With those three 10 millimeter bolts removed we can remove the last 10 millimeter bolt at the top. And there's a washer underneath that bolt. We'll keep it. I have gone back and removed the grill. It was only two more bolts. Um, just the way that the housing, headlight housing pulls forward. So it was hitting the grill. And also I've got my, my HID wiring back here that I'm gonna have to remove anyway. So that will help with that. The housing. Pull forward and up. And see that there's my HIDs there still attached. And we've got two, two clips. And just disconnect them from the bulbs. No. I did have one casualty here. I broke a bolt. Um, luckily the new headlight housing comes with a new clip here. And I'm just gonna have to find a new bolt. It shouldn't be too hard. Um, this is an aftermarket housing, so I'm not reusing this stuff, but if you are going from stock to the spec detuning headlight housing, you have to take remove the wiring harness. I've already done that. And uh, check out my video on how to install LED bulbs in the spec D housing. So I'm going to get the HID stuff cleaned out and get the new housings ready for install. One thing I do have to reuse is this trim piece and got two clips. Let's try this one. I got it off, but I need to get this off. Looks like I didn't break this. Good. Even all those pliers would work. There we go. So your new headlight is just going to slide right in, and we can. Uh, Set the top bolt in to hold it. And then you can set in the front bolt. It's always a good idea to have some dielectric grease on your connectors. Keep moisture and corrosion out, we can hook up our connector. 
And what I'm going to do before I tighten any bolts is test it to make sure everything works. Okay, so reinstall your four 10 millimeter bolts. Two underneath and the two here. And reinstall your Phillips screw for the fender liner. And then most satisfying part. And then the headlight. One thing left is to push our trim piece back on. You gotta line up this into the rubber grommet and then push the three pieces. That's pretty sure. Um, I am gonna tint these light, light tint. See if I like it or not. If I don't like it, I'll pull that tint back off. I think they look pretty good as is. That, that tin will also protect them. So, yeah, if you buy if you buy pre-tinted or smoked headlights, often they're too dark and there's nothing you can do about it. But if you buy a light tint, put it on your clear headlights. If you don't like it, you can pull it off. So, get the other side done. Get the grill on. Um, show you how it looks and test it out. We're all done with the install, both sides done. We got rid of all this crap from the HIDs. We're all done, let's show you them on.